For once, the launchers are easy to get the mastery camos on compared to what we've had to deal with in previous games. These are still launcher challenges, so they will be frustrating and part of the more difficult weapons you will have to complete during the grind. Each launcher only has one base camo challenge to complete. The bad news is you have to level up each launcher to 11 in order to make any progress on that camo. While there are lots of exploits to level up weapons extremely fast during the launch of the game, these won't be around forever and you will have to level up your weapons as intended once these get patched. Leveling the launchers is tedious, so use double weapon XP tokens or advance to your advantage. The most efficient way to level them up is by running the spotter perk to destroy enemy marked equipment or streaks you see. Take advantage of the bot and enemy XP you get from killing them in invasion, and once introduced to the game, play shipment 24-7 for easy kills. After reaching level 11 on all four launchers, you will be given the challenge of killing 40 enemies. Killing bots won't make any progression towards this challenge, so it must be real enemy players. For me, I did this challenge in Hardpoint, since that game mode funnels all players to a single point. Shipment 24-7 will also make this challenge easy to complete. From hardest to easiest, getting kills with the launcher goes as follows. The Joker, Pila, Strela, then RPG. The Pila, Strela, and RPG can all be fired freely, so getting kills is straightforward. With everyone's favorite Joker, you need to lock on before firing. If you are playing 6v6, go to a game mode like Hardpoint, where all the action takes place in one area, lock on to the objective, and let the game mode do all the work for you. I did find an even easier way to get kills. By using your melee button or keybind while holding your launcher, each kill that you get as long as it's with that launcher will count towards progression. And if you are playing ground war and are in a helicopter that is high enough in the air, the Joker missile that is fired will go straight down acting like a Predator missile, making kills way easier. Once you've completed the 40 base kills for each launcher, you must complete the gold challenge, which is killing two enemies in a single life, five times with the Strela, Pila, and RPG, while the Joker requires you to do it ten times. Two kills in a life is easy, especially when you factor in double kills. You may need to slow your pace of play down, that way when reloading your launchers you aren't getting killed. Once gold has been unlocked, on every launcher you can now access the platinum challenge. Destroy enemy vehicles, streaks, or equipment. You need to destroy 15 with the Pila, 25 with the Strela, and 10 for both the Joker and RPG. It's an easy challenge, but can be tedious since you have to rely on the enemy to supply you with things to destroy. Use the spotter perk so you can see all objects that you need to destroy through walls. Try to avoid marking them for your team so they don't destroy them and steal them from you. For the lock-on launchers, the Joker and the Pila, Ground War will constantly have enemy UAVs, counter UAVs, tanks, and helicopters to lock on and destroy. With the RPG and Strela, focus on destroying enemy equipment like bouncing Betty's, claymores, and you can destroy some stationary streaks like the VTOL and counter UAVs. You are able to destroy moving streaks with the RPG and Strela, they are just hard to track. The easiest is destroying UAVs with the Strela as long as you're standing under them. That's how easy the launchers are this year. It's tedious.